just did my first full charge of the month and uh, I missed it and moved forward about a foot and it went from 283 to 282 miles. I'm quite happy with that projected range. Like I've said, I've got the limited all-wheel drive, which has an EPA estimated range of 256 miles, and I do a lot of mixed driving. I guess I could consider it more back road than highway, judging by this gasometer estimate, but wanted to bring that to you guys now since I saw it. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of PCs and EVs. Today we're gonna to be going to one of my favorite stores in the area. We're gonna be going to Micro Center. I go there quite frequently and I wanted to show it off. I know they've got a lot of really amazing open box discounts right now. They've got sub $1,500 3090 Ti's, sub $1,200 3090s, some open box deals on processors and stuff. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys a tour of my Micro Center and everything. I am local to the one in Cambridge, so we're driving down now. Currently we have 94% battery left. Obviously we left at 100% because I full charged it last night. Hyundai does recommend you full charge the Ionic 5 once a month at least, uh, to 100% obviously. And But I'm at 94% now. I've got about 270 miles in range, 268 to be exact. And it's just, it's gonna be a nice drive. Uh, it's nice and early in the morning. It's about 9.30 a.m. Woke up at about eight. We're just kind of chilling. Uh, I'm excited to show off my micro center to you guys though, just because I go there so frequently. Hope everyone's having a great morning, having a great day. Look forward to making a lot more content for you guys shortly. Picking up some computer parts so I can do a retrofit on a computer for a customer. Getting some good deals so that I can pass those along to my customers. And we have arrived at micro center, guys. I'll show you guys all the open box deals that are going on right now. I'll show you guys around and we'll take it from there. So my store is pretty wild. We've got a lot of TVs on display. We've got a giant Apple area and everything. Uh, a bunch of accessories for phones and everything and a phone area. We've got a couple of decent demo, demo computers here. This one's apparently got a 5800X and a 3070. Ooh, 12700K. Z690 ROG, and it's got for a graphics card and a 3080 Vision. That's pretty. It's got uni fans and the uh, Corsair 4000D. I think it's pretty. Got a whole bunch of uh, CPU coolers and everything. Obviously, I'm in the BYO area. Got thermal paste and stuff. We've got all like your little switches and everything you might need if you're doing like Raspberry Pi 4 stuff or retro gaming and everything interesting to see that they've brought in a decent number of montec cases as well as obviously having some corsair asus uh nzxt and lee and lee offerings over here love ending up in the um open box section because there's honestly so many different good deals that can be taken advantage of for example we've got this z690 plus wi-fi d4 motherboard asus tough gaming and it's marked down from almost 300 bucks down to about 190 bunch of open box graphics cards as well looks like we've got a 3070 ti for 630 bucks they've got some 3090 ti's marked down to like 1600 bucks um they've got an open box 3080 Aorus extreme for 790 bucks 3090 ti here another one but this one's the really nice rog strix liquid cooled one um for about 1900 bucks um Gaming Z Trio 12 gig for 800 bucks. That's a deal. I saw online there were some 3090s that were like 1250, which is crazy. And then they've got a whole bunch of other open box discounts on like motherboards and stuff. They've also got a ton of motherboards, SSDs, processors, graphics cards are really easy to find nowadays. Got tons in stock. Um, some storage. Um, Wow, that is a $1,200 motherboard, guys. That is absolutely insane. They even have some, oh, some USBs. And then memory down here. All right, guys, so I'm leaving Micro Center now. Definitely got a decent haul, and what do I see? But a digital teal Hyundai Ionic 5 Limited. I'm gonna go over and take a couple pictures, show, show it in video so you guys can see the digital teal. I will say the digital teal does look really cool. And you guys can see how the color changes as the light hits it and everything. 
gosh, this car is beautiful. This owner's doing a better job than me keeping their car clean, that's for sure. I, just, I love the way that the rims look. They probably just had a wash a couple days ago. Um, obviously a limited all-wheel drive because of the rear, or because of the rims and everything. But yeah, this car looks nice. Kind of wish I got this color, not gonna lie. Yeah? All right, we're gonna, next up, we're gonna detail what I ended up picking up here at Micro Center and everything, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so the trip was about 85 miles, and I used about 28% battery on that. Um, I did plug into my home charge point flex, and looks like it'll take about two and a half hours to finish filling it back up. Um, and it looks like it, I have it on a 70 amp breaker, which means it can put 50 amps in. The voltage drops significantly going into my house from the pole when I plug. Yeah, I'm entirely happy with this. I'm excited to also see the bolt once that comes in charging on this system. All right, guys, just finished bringing everything inside. Like I stated earlier, we got that open box Z690 plus Wi-Fi D4 Asus Tough Gaming motherboard. It's marked down a, a, literally a third off its list price. Then I got this Montec AirX ARGB case. It's in white. I've built with it before. I believe it has two 200 mil fans at the front. It was marked down to $59, so I definitely couldn't pass that up. As for the, the big boy, we've got a RTX 3090 Ti for the Win 3 Ultra. Ultra, marked down from two grand all the way down to 1300 bucks open box. Sure, it doesn't have the e-leash so you can mount it to like the radiator or whatever. It's literally just a cable that runs from the from wherever you screw it in to hold the end of the graphics card up. It does still have the triple eight pin PCIe adapter though. And then we do have the Intel Core i9 12900K in here in all of its glorious packaging. I think this thing looks pretty sweet. Um, ignore the dust on the bottom of the box. It's literally just from setting it on the floor. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of PCs and EVs shenanigans. Like I said, we went down, we visited Micro Center. It was a really fun trip and everything, and I got to see another uh, Ionic 5 Limited just in the digital teal color, which was quite nice.